Concerns about an after Thanksgiving surge of a triple demic have now become a reality. Hospitals here in the Mid South and actually all across the country are seeing a rising number of cases of the flu, RSV, and COVID 19. WRG's Alex Coleman tells us whatever is going around is causing many doctor's offices and emergency rooms to be overwhelmed. Inside many Memphis area hospitals, the so-called triple threat virus is leading to crowded emergency rooms and doctor's offices. City Councilman Dr. Jeff Warren is also a family physician working in a health care facility where he's masking up. We got three things going on, Alex. It's, it's, in, it's in our area, but it's also nationwide. It's a combination of RSV virus, which seems to be on the wane, but also we've got uh, waxing, we've got flu, and we've got COVID. The Shelby County Health Department says influenza-like illness activity is high. Their surveillance data for December 6th show the percent of emergency department visits for influenza-like illness last week was 7.6%. This is higher than the 2.4% seen this time last year, and a new concern could be looming. So we've got a lot of influenza out there, and we've also, the COVID Omicron has just, uh, we're worried that there's a new variant that seems to be escaping the, the booster that we got out in September. That's especially alarming for some of the most vulnerable, those 65 and older, and at a time when holiday gatherings are fast approaching. Doctors recommend getting screened for the flu and COVID. A lot of the pharmacies have many clinics who can do screening for flu and COVID. Uh, your doctor's office, I mean, I know our office, we screen our own patients. We have them drive up and we go outside and we screen them in their cars. And then we run the test to see what they are and we call the medicine in for them. As for booster shots and being in crowded settings, the advice remains the same. You need to get your booster. That's the main thing you can do. and. If you're uh, in a situation where around a lot of people uh, and people are coughing and they look sick, put your mask on. And if you are sick, don't go out. Alex Coleman, WREG TV, News Channel 3. Keep that mask handy. And doctors say the flu vaccine is quite effective this year, but it takes about two weeks for full protection to kick in.